It's time for yet another 0% AI challenge, but this time it's going to be a little different. After messing around with some of the game's settings, I had an idea. Rebind my look backwards button to my gas pedal, so every time I press the gas, I can only see behind me. This is going to be like driving blind. And just before we get into the race, I want to give a quick shout out to Race GTing. I've partnered with them as an affiliate, and I have a discount code for 5% off at checkout. They offer a range of sim racing cockpits and accessories, so perfect for beginners and for more experienced sim racers. Click the link down below to apply my code. Okay, back to the video now. All right, as always, we're going to be starting from the very back of the grid. So I'm just going to destroy the car in qualifying, and we're good. Okay, so we're going to go soft to mediums and see how that works out strategy-wise. But we have 18 laps around Austria, and uh, this is going to be our view for the majority of the race. Five red lights are coming on, and off the line we go. Pretty decent start, a little bit of wheel spin right there, but uh, hopefully we can make it into the first corner without colliding with anyone. A little close to the Sauber right there, it's really hard to tell where the other cars are in relation to us. So obviously, you can see right there, off the gas, you can see in front of you, which is definitely a little moment of relief, but uh, already kind of struggling to see where I'm going. I feel like I'm really close to other cars, off the track completely, onto the gravel, destroying the meter ports. And luckily, we get into this braking zone safe and sound. Somehow, no accidents in the first couple corners. Not too bad. I think we're pretty close to Bottas. We can probably go for move up the inside. A little too late on the brakes. It looks like a little contact with uh, here, Gasly. So luckily no front wing damage, but we get past Bottas, which is good. And we're off the track and uh, Bottas gets us right back. So never mind about that, but maybe we can go for a move around the outside here into this corner. Maybe the next corner right here. Uh, get, kind of swoop around the outside here. It's really hard to uh, go for overtakes when you can't really tell where your car is positioned on the track. Completely put Bottas into the gravel right there. Forced him off the track. And uh, he's he's probably stuck there for a while. Ah, uh, this uphill section is very confusing. I, I, it's backwards, so I can't remember if I go left or right up the hill onto the gravel completely. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely the wrong spot to be. Luckily, up the inside of Pierre Gasly that puts us into 13th. So not bad so far. Into the braking zone right here. We're gonna try to swoop around the outside of Kevin Magnussen. Once you're, uh, you know, the camera's facing forward, you can kind of let off the gas and just coast around a corner. And you're probably still a little bit faster than these AIs. So that's definitely something we can use to our advantage. Like right there, just letting off the gas a little bit, looking in front and just coasting up the inside. And uh, that's Daniel Ricardo passed as well. So making good progress on these overtakes so far. It hasn't been too bad, just as I say that. Okay. Okay. All right. So we get Daniel Ricardo back, and that puts us in 11th position. That might have been track limits right there and right there. Okay. Going to try to stick to the right side of the track so we can go for move up the inside. It looks like we positioned the car correctly, fitting into this little gap very nicely between Lance Stroll and Yuki Tsunoda. That puts us into the top 10 now. But it looks like Stroll is challenging us on this back straight. We're kind of in a tricky position now in between two cars from what it looks like. Maybe we can make this work. Gonna try to late break up the inside of Yuki Tsunoda. Really squeezing into that gap right there. That was actually... Damn, that was, that was actually a really good move. <laughs> Alright, we've got Hamilton up next from the looks of it. Hamilton and then our teammate Sergio Perez. Maybe we can go for a move up the inside of Lewis Hamilton. He kind of backs out, gives us the space. So that's uh, definitely very nice. The 0% AI aren't too aggressive, and Lewis is right back past us. Okay. We're still pretty close behind, so we might be able to go for a move into the next corner. Very late on the brakes right there. Oh, boy. That was that was a big mistake. Yuki gets past us again. Oh, these guys are fucking <laughs> All right. Round two to uh, overtake Hamilton. We can go for a move up the inside, up the hill. Perfect braking right there. This time we, we nail it. This uphill section is definitely a little tricky. It, you know, the track slightly twists to the left going up the hill. And uh, since the steering is backwards, I keep turning to the right instead of the left by accident. It's, everything's all backwards. It gets really confusing. Little uh, moment of relief right here looking forwards. I think we can go for kind of a switchback on signs. We take the inside line and we'll get past him, I think, just barely, but not bad. It's pretty impossible to tell uh, where to break for these corners. Like right there, that's just so early. I could have braked like 100 meters after that. But uh, obviously, it's just a little scary when you're completely blind into the corner. I gotta say, uh, driving like this the whole race definitely makes me appreciate being able to look forward. I I'm so distracted about, you know, by the other cars and how to overtake that I don't actually keep the car in the middle of the track. 
So luckily, we haven't had any uh, crazy instances of just completely missing the braking zone and flying off the track or slamming into somebody, which I definitely thought was going to happen a lot more when I first started this challenge. Just as I'm talking about this spinning out at the end of Sector 2, getting passed by absolutely everybody. Going to try to spin around here, and I'm stuck in the middle of the track. That's very bad. So many cars coming. Somehow, I don't get hit by any of them. That's an absolute miracle. I could see three cars in the rear view barreling towards me, and that was that was so close. Woo! All right, that got the uh, oh hello, that got the the adrenaline going right there. That was that was like my, that might have been the worst thing I've ever done on the F1 game is just get you know be stationary in the middle of the track. A lot of contact with Lance Stroll. I'm kind of stuck on his car. I can finally get off the side of his uh, wheel right there. Our pit window's open, and that's got to be uh, damage to Lance Stroll's front wing. So that's probably a penalty. Uh, but whatever, it's Lance Stroll, so I don't really care. In the top 10 now, we can probably get Yuki up the inside of this corner. There it is. That's exactly what I was expecting at the beginning of this race. It's a last second, look forward, and there's a car right in front of me. That was a jump scare. Uh, all right, lap seven into the pit lane we go. Yuki can, uh, you can, you can have this one, buddy. Go around me. There you go. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna have to be coasting into the pit lane so I can see where I'm going. Here's the pit line, or the pit limiter line. And uh, we make it in with uh, no problem at all. So going to be kind of a longer pit stop going out to the medium compound tires and getting that new front wing. All right, definitely going to have to be braking and coasting come out of the pit lane right here. If I'm looking behind into this corner, that could be very treacherous. But we're coming out 19th of 20, so not great. Uh-oh, we have uh, Valtteri Bottas in front of us <laughs> in the same corner as... Uh, oh, is it lap one that we kind of forced him off the track? Maybe we can do it a lot cleaner this time. And he's probably very relieved to still be on the track. Now, how is that possible, dude? How I set the fastest lap. I'm only looking backwards when I'm... Get, that's ridiculous. Okay, uh, blocked into turn one. Maybe we'll have some type of opportunity right here. And it looks like I'm going to be blocked again. Great. Usually, my braking into this next uh, downhill right-hander is pretty spot on. A little flirting with the grass right there. A very similar situation to what happened on lap two. Up the inside of Perez, squeezing between two cars, and we hit that gap perfectly, just like last time. So here comes Science out of the pit lane. So I believe everyone here is on their second set of tires. So we should be fully racing for position. Nobody has a pit stop left in this race. And maybe we can go for something on Leclerc up the inside in this uphill braking zone on the gravel, spinning out. And somehow we end up completely straight, slamming into Leclerc's side pod. And, uh... Okay, that works, I guess. This next corner is definitely the strongest one of the track for me. Gonna switch to the inside and getting past Leclerc. No problem at all with the inside line right there. So George Russell is up next. Maybe we can go for something around the outside of this next corner. We're very close. So I wanna see if this will work. Kind of coasting around the outside and we make that stick. So not not bad. Somehow we only have uh, one more overtake until we're on the podium. <laughs> oh god, oh, my bad. I didn't uh, <laughs> I didn't expect Alonso to be so close, but <laughs> I guess he was. A little bit of front uh, wing damage for us. We're gonna switch to the outside here and uh, just try to coast around the outside into this corner, and that puts us on the podium with six laps remaining. At the end of lap 12 now, Piastri's the next one in our sights. We can probably go for something into the first corner. Just try to make it nice and clean. Gonna switch to the outside as he's taking a very defensive line into this first corner. And no problem at all. Swooping around and second place. Ah! Why, ah! Man, why do I always hit that one patch of grass? I can't, like, I remember that I'm gonna hit it but I can't avoid it. Like, what's the deal with that? Uh, anyway, we're really close to life though now uh, after that braking zone. We could probably go for a move maybe into this corner around the outside. He's a little far in front. We're gonna try to go for the switchback like we did on Carlos Sainz. A little deep on the brakes right here. Lando's gonna get us back and maybe we can get him on this uh, back straight. We'll see. Damn, how'd he get that far in front and that little, uh, that short little straight? Okay. Uh, anyway, we can probably get him on the start finish straight now. Really close, can definitely go for a move. Have the inside line, it's a drag race to the start line, and we should be able to wrap this up before we get into the first corner, which we do. So we're now in the lead of the race. All we have to do now is not make any mistakes. Lando's not doing a bad job of keeping up again with this area. Oh my God, what is this? So we've definitely increased the gap to Lando. Uh, he's about eight seconds behind. Big uh, lockup 
into that uphill braking zone. Not to worry. We have plenty of gap to play with. Uh, again, this grass. Oh my god. What is the deal with that? All right, heading on to the final lap of the race. Lap 18 of 18. Somehow, we set the fastest lap of the race as well with a 111 something. 1118, which to be honest... Given the, uh, given the driving conditions is not actually that bad. It could be a lot worse. Speaking of worse, on the gravel, really hard to control the car. Where am I going? A little bit of contact with the wall. And we're still struggling to control the car. And, oh boy. Okay, we finally get it to a stop. That, uh... Oh, wow. That lasted like that whole uphill section. Oh my god. You know that feeling like when you're driving fast and you know you have a close call, like you almost crash or something, and then the rest of the drive home is just silent. That's uh, that's kind of just like this right now. Oh yikes! Come on, Jesus Christ, man. Okay, uh, definitely a little wide <laughs> the last couple of corners as well, but that's fine. Uh, Lando's still 10 seconds behind, and that is gonna be a win, yet another to add to the collection of 0% AI challenge wins. I think I'm undefeated five in a row now. I, I gotta figure this out as something else. I, I mean, I need to I need to lose eventually, right? Oh.